What are the best bodyweight bicep exercises? Well, that's what this series is about, to teach you the nine most effective bodyweight bicep exercises to build those superhero biceps. Stick around to find out more. Hey, it's Oscar Fongo Primate here, and in part 6 of this series, we're gonna go through rope ring bicep curls. For this, you're going to be needing one rope and one gymnastic ring. So what you're gonna be doing is you're going to be putting the rope in between the gymnastic ring, and then simply grab the rope from two ends like this, and you're going to be doing normal bicep curls here, but towards the end of the movement, you're going to be rotating your arms out like this. So really excessively supinate your arms as much as you can, get a good squeeze in at the top of the movement and then allow yourself in a controlled manner. Now this rotational aspect here is going to be activating your brachialis muscle a bit more and to my understanding the brachialis is what makes the arm a little bit wider. So for that reason it's a really good exercise to add into your workout routine. Now what you want to keep in mind when doing rope ring bicep curls are the following things. So First of all, keep your body straight, so no need to bend the hips or anything, just keep the body nice and straight. You start the movement with your arms straight, again you try to pull your hands to your shoulders and then you rotate outwards at the end, rotate outwards, have a good squeeze in there and lower. Now I want to emphasize one thing here, that at the very top of the movement, really actively squeeze those biceps, really flex those biceps with your mind, so really squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as much as you can to get the most out of every single repetition. Now a common mistake here is that people tend to drop the elbows too much or lift them up. So instead just sort of keep the elbows at the same level. So just keep the elbows at the very same height if you can. A, a bit of a drop or a bit of a lifting is not too bad but as long as it's not excessive. So to the best of your abilities just try to keep the elbows at the very same height, the same level and simply try to just move this part of the arm. So only this part here should be moving as you can see here. This shouldn't be moving, should be fairly on the same level. This part should be moving. So I would recommend a tempo of 4-0-1-1 here. So that means that you're going to be lowering yourself on a count of 4 or 4 seconds. You're going to have a 0 second pause at the bottom. And at the top you're going to have around a 1 second squeeze. So because this is a isolation exercise, I would recommend very short rest. So around 30-60 seconds. We don't need to go higher than that in my opinion. And we can also play around with high repetitions here. So let's go for... 10 to 50 repetitions. Now you can get one of those ropes from a local hardware store. So I think I paid around 10 euros for this. So it's a very basic rope. You just choose the length you want, chop it off. You can put some tape around it as well. And that is all you need. So a very simple equipment that can actually be very useful for many things. But if you don't have a rope available to you, then no need to worry. You can instead just use a mini towel instead and just wrap it around. That works just as well. And if you want to see more detailed breakdowns of the rest of the exercises, then feel free to continue on with this series. That is it for rope ring bicep curls. If you found some value of this video, then please leave the video a like. It's highly appreciated. And subscribe to the channel for more tips on how to optimize your body weight, ring and at-home fitness training. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.